Welcome to I Just Watched, I'm Joseph. We're about to check out the official second trailer for Napoleon. I'm definitely excited. The first trailer looked good. There's parts of it that really are enticing. I've done a little bit of research. I got a, I got way more to do for the movie just to be more well informed when it comes to Napoleon and that piece of history. Because I I know bits and pieces, but definitely not enough. Before we even jump into the discussion, let's check out this trailer and we can chat after. General, we are discovered. Good. That's some genius stuff, though. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, just not shut up. Take him out. I'm not built like other men. Ooh, it's a great song. I don't know, last time I heard this in a movie, I got hurt, right? That's 300, two. Power only that trailer was fantastic. The movie was... Unfit for higher office. In black masses. But I follow in the footsteps of Alexander the Great and Caesar. Didn't you play a Caesar? If you look down, you'll see a surprise. Once you see it, you will always want it. <laughs> like, we need to know what really has directed. Come on now, dog. Le guillotine. Fucking French. I found the crown of France in the cover and placed it atop my own head. We got the little pimp walk. She a whole fucking mommy, bro. Chill. Whose country are we in? Sometimes you gotta lay on the table, bro. Yo. But that trailer was beautiful with this song. Yo, yo, so like I said, I love that song. And I think that song is perfect to be mixed in with these war epics, these grand battle scenes and situations. It adds to it, it then almost fits perfect. This as a whole, like I said, looks good. Parts of it makes you agree and side with him. This one, he does come off a little bit more vicious, a little bit more of a monster. And then homegirl, Madam Kirby, who coming off with the whole step on me, baby vibe, like whole mommy situation. Like she got the mommy muscle, she's dominant. I'm just like, whoo, young lady, chill. This is a family movie. That whole vibe, that whole presence we're getting from both their characters, this trailer made them feel more dominating, a little bit more evil, a little more mischievous. And it's funny because there's still bits and pieces throughout where I'm like, no, I'm kind of on his side here. And then there's other pieces where I'm like, ooh, no sir, that's a line that I most likely probably would not cross. And the big thing is, I said it last time, and I still agree with it, I would love to see an Adolf movie, not because he's a hero, I'm not trying to side with him or anything like that, trust me, nothing like that. I just think that perspective, visually, telling the story from within that monster and watching that monster come to, to full power would be an interesting take. I doubt we ever get anything like that, but I think it would still be an interesting film. I mean, just seeing the, the rise, because not everyone in Germany agreed with him, as most shouldn't have, damn it. But just getting that perspective of seeing how he was able just because he's arguably one of the greatest speech givers and he got this country to follow him almost undoubtedly and he rose to power and he almost won. There's specific moments where he didn't. So there is genius involved there. It's not good genius, it's actual evil, but just that perspective would be interesting. We make movies starring villains all the time. I think this one could be similar except no sympathy, no sympathetic moments. I just wanna see the rise and fall of this monster. That's it. And I wouldn't call it Adolf. No, I wouldn't. I think that's dumb. I'd call it like Le Fuhr or however you say it. I'm not German, I apologize. I wanna hear your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns. You know I love chatting with y'all. But until next time, stay safe, be well. Con mucho amor, adios.